Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I mentioned how when I published my very first coloring book, 24 Shades of Business, I did a poll in Facebook groups and I basically put two pictures side by side and I said, hi guys, I'm gonna be releasing my coloring book soon and I need you guys to help me choose a cover image. And then I said left or right. And so some people were saying left, some people were saying right, but the majority of the people were saying, both and then their next question was and when is this book dropping like so they wanted to know where can they go and get the book when was it going to be released because they felt like they had to have this book because they had never seen a book like this because you have to remember during this time i couldn't find any coloring books that had realistic black women on the cover of the coloring books okay so this was something new and um you know people were ready for it they were like yes yes and so in all honesty i had not thought that far all i was trying to do was kind of generate some buzz so that they would know a coloring book was coming out but i didn't even think about the fact that people would be asking me you know, where can they get the book and all that. I went to Shopify, which I love. I create all of my websites on Shopify. By the way, if you are um, going to be launching a book soon or if you just need a platform to build your author brand or business, then click the link in my description below and you'll be able to get three months on Shopify for just $1 a month. So that way you can play around with your store. Go ahead and create your coming soon page and maybe even start playing around on the back end if you're gonna be thinking about um, eventually building a website for your book business. But today we're gonna to be talking about how I was able to set up a coming soon Shopify page for my coloring books and how you can set up a coming soon Shopify page yourself. Once you click my link in the description below, you will enter your email address to go ahead and start your free trial, okay? So once you've answered all of the questions, you're gonna see the back end of your Shopify store. So you would click on online store because the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go under the preferences tab and then that's gonna bring you to this page. You're gonna scroll down until you get to the password protection section because you're gonna wanna make sure you restrict the access so that your store is not open while you are working on your back end. So you're gonna make sure this button is checked here so that you can restrict the access. So then after that button is checked, you're then going to uh, click on the themes tab. And the themes tab is what you're gonna use to start working on your coming soon page. I'm currently using the refresh theme under my Shopify store. And so I am going to go in and I'm going to hit the customize tab. Once you hit the customize tab, you're then going to click here where it says homepage and you are going to search um, password. And so that brings us to our coming soon page. I did my coming soon page. I did not zhush it up or anything. I literally left it basic. But if you click on, for example, password header, you will be able to put your logo here. Mine is defaulted because I already have it in there, but this is where you would be able to replace it or select the image for your logo if you wanted to make any changes to it. You can also change the width to your logo and even the color scheme. And you can basically play around with any of the sections to make changes and adjustments to your liking. So let's say if I wanted to just leave it white like that, and then we can click on this big block. So basically, whatever section you want to change, you just click on that section. And then you'll you'll see on the left side where it allows you to change it. So this is the background image that we just clicked on. So this is where you would go to select an image. So let's say I wanted to search for my very first coloring book, 24 Shades of Business. So I can use that as the background drop for this example. So you can see. And then you can change the banner height small, medium, large. Let's see what large looks like. And you can change the um, content position as well. So basically the open zoom tab, you can move it like if it's, if it's over something that you don't want it to be over, you can just move it. So let's say, Let's say if we just want to leave it like that. So now let's work on the actual coming soon section. So if I click on where it says opening soon, I can change this to coming soon. You can even adjust the opacity on the background, which I think I am going to leave it a little darker. So coming soon, be the first to know when the book launches. Be the first to know when the book launches is, and then um, they can go ahead and leave their email. Now, of course, you can make this, you could play with this, make this bold. 
italicized. You can even add links to it. Um, you can even use AI to generate text, like how I wrote that. Be the first to know when it launched. Let's see if I wrote. Let's see if I rephrase it and see what it says. So as you can see, because you know y'all know AI, everything is AI now. So let's see what the suggestions say. Be the first to receive updates on the new book releases. Stay informed and be the first to know about the book launch. Get exclusive early access to updates on the book launch. Sis. So all right, we we can go with what it says, and we'll just leave it like that. You can also add sections. So if you click on this blue plus sign, you'll see all of the sections you can add, like the featured collection, featured products, um, even images with text, slideshow image. So let's say you wanted to add a slideshow to it, um, then this can just give your page a little more length. So it would no longer be just the coming soon, but you would be able to also include additional information um, that you may want someone to know about your brand. So you can go as deep into designing as you want to for your coming soon page. But I do recommend that you keep it simple or as simple as possible because you don't want the customer to get um, deterred from the, the focal point, which is to gain their email address, right? So you don't want to add so much stuff on the page that they're like... Girl, I done got distracted and now I'm going to click off the page, you know? So just make sure that whatever you're adding, um, the things complement each other and it redirects the person back to the overall goal, which is to get that email address from them so that you'll have it when you do get ready to launch. Under the app section, you can also add your Instagram feed and any apps that are available under that section as well. We're just going to go back and remove this block. All right. and. At the bottom, you'll see where it says this shop will be powered by Shopify. If you don't want that on your coming soon page, go back to your theme section and then click on these three dots and then go to edit default theme content. And now we're just going to type in powered. If you don't want the powered by Shopify, you would simply click in this search menu and then press delete so that it's gone. And then we can go back under customize to take a look to see if it's gone. And we can see if it's gone by going to password and checking it out. Scroll into the bottom. All right. So now you see that um, it no longer says powered by Shopify here. And let's also make sure it looks good on mobile because mobile is really important. So this is what it would look like on mobile. And then you will save it. And there you have your coming soon page. All right, guys, until next time. Bye-bye.